Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp and today we're looking at how those odds have been acting up for the divisional playoff game between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. What's going on Jordan? How you doing man? Not much man. Good talk to you again. Good talking to you too brother. All right so odds makers opened this one up at minus seven and a half in favor of the Patriots and just dropped that hook since then and been playing with the juice ever since. All right Baltimore got here after beating the Steelers at Heinz Field 30 to 17 and the Patriots they had their bye week, man. I mean, from what I've been seeing, I think a lot of money is going on the Patriots, even though that uh, they have had this rivalry in the past and we've seen what has happened. Uh, what do you think uh, we should expect off this line, Jordan? I don't think it's going anywhere because I, I, don't, I don't know where you're seeing that, but it looks here on the uh, SBR consensus page that uh, Baltimore actually is getting a lot of money too. So I think we're probably going to see the line. It hasn't really moved any since it opens. I really can't expect it to move much except maybe with some, maybe with the juice that's been messed with here because a couple of books like Pentacle and Bookmaker have moved it to where the Patriots are about minus seven uh, plus 100. So probably not going to see much movement there. You know, I, I know Baltimore's had some success against the Patriots. This will be the fourth time they've played one another in the playoffs since 2009. Baltimore's two and one straight up in those meetings. Win of the most recent one, obviously, when Baltimore went on to win the Super Bowl. But, you know, this is a new age New England Patriots defense. And I, I, I really feel like, especially with Baltimore's defensive troubles that they've been prone to this year, that, you know, the Patriots, this might be the game where they, uh, they, they beat down the Baltimore Ravens and this game isn't close. Even the game where the Patriots won against them in that playoff year, I believe that was 2000. Uh, they, they only won by three points, but I think this may be the year that they solve their Baltimore Ravens problem. I'm probably in the minority on that, uh, but I just can't see Baltimore's defense playing as well as they did against the Steelers the, this week against the Patriots. The Patriots, even though you don't know any of their names, they do have a pretty <laughs> credible running game. Yeah. And uh, whereas the Steelers, obviously, without Le'Veon Bell, couldn't get anything going last week in the run game, and that really, really hurt them. The Ravens were just able to, you know, pack it deep and send guys back and, and beat them like that. And so, you know, uh, they're not going to be able to do that against Tom Brady and this running game. The Brady will audible to a run play in any time that they do that. And uh, I think with the stable of running backs that they have, they're always going to have fresh legs back there against the Ravens defense. So I, I just really think that the, the, the Patriots are probably the play here. I would, uh, I, I, I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty uh, good with getting the five dimes line right now at uh, minus seven plus one Oh five. I agree, man. But Hey, you're forgetting one big factor and uh, you haven't talked much about Gronkowski. This is the first time that he's going to be healthy for one of these games, man. Well, yeah, I mean, he's he's kind of the secret weapon, too, going into this. You know, there's another tight end we'll talk about is another secret weapon for a certain AFC team uh, later on Sunday. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, Gronk, I mean, he's he's the best tight end in football right now. And, um, you know, the Ravens, I think, are going to be troubled to stop him. And a, a, another guy didn't mention Julian Edelman coming back this week yeah. for the New England Patriots. He's missed the last couple games with a concussion. I mean, so everything trending towards the Patriots for me. I just I think Baltimore's run is over. It was an impressive win last week, but they're about to run into a buzzsaw that, that knows that has struggled against Baltimore in the past. I think they're going to want to put those uh, those notions to bed real quick in this game. I totally agree, man. The only concern, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the Patriots are going to win this one. The only concern is that uh, there have been talks that Brady's losing that zip in his arm, man. He hasn't been throwing the ball as tough as he used to, and it might affect him a bit. What do you think? I don't think that's going to affect him too much against this Ravens secondary. I just feel like the Patriots have too many options, too many weapons, enough enough game, enough game, run game to uh, keep the Ravens honest, and I, I'm not too worried about Brady's health. I think there are, are there are at least two other quarterbacks playing this week that have far bigger health concerns than yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah, I think. no doubt, no doubt. Man. All right, Jordan, a pleasure talking to you again, man, and uh, we'll be talking some more football again soon. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.